The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Um, five states, a high tower is built on planet Zug, which has no atmosphere and has an acceleration due to gravity of 8 meters per second squared. A man standing at the top of the tower leans over the edge and simultaneously throws two balls, one up and one down each with an initial speed of 5 meters per second. What is the distance between the balls 3 seconds later? Okay, so what we have here is a kinematics problem. We have uh, times, we're looking for distances between them, so we'll be solving for displacements. You gave us a gravitational acceleration. All those should uh, trigger kinematics in your head over forces or momentum or whatever else your test covers. So. I definitely recommend highly drawing it out. So we got two of them thrown from the same thrown from the same location. I'm just drawing them a little bit so we can see that there's two of them. So we got the first one thrown upwards. Well, I'm just gonna say the first one's thrown upwards and the second one's thrown downwards. So we know whenever you do these problems, I really highly recommend labeling out all your variables. Here we have, we know that our acceleration downwards, our gravity, is 8 meters per second squared. And we're given a time of 3 seconds, is when we're looking for everything to happen. And we know the velocities are 5 each. So draw it out, label everything out, set a frame of reference so you know what's positive and negative. Call it a positive generally, don't have to. So the variables we can have, we can have an initial velocity, we can have a final velocity. We have an acceleration, time, and a displacement. In any kinematics problem with an acceleration, you have these five variables. So, with that in mind, uh, looking at the first ball, we know we have a velocity of 5 pointed upwards, so it's positive. We have, don't know the final velocity, and actually don't even care about the final velocity. We know we have an acceleration, 8 pointing downwards, so it's negative. We know we're looking at the point 3 seconds after when all this happens, and we're looking for our displacement. Same thing over here, almost identically, identical, except the velocity in this one points downwards, thus it's going to have a negative sign in front of it. Still don't know this. No, this is negative 8 for the acceleration, time is 3, and once again looking for the displacement. Okay, so once you have 3 of the 5, then you can solve for either of the other two. Just have to pick the right equation. So looking at this, we can say, well, we don't care about the final velocity, so the one we're going to look for is, the equation we're going to use, rather, is going to be d is equal to vit or v naught t or however it's presented for you guys, plus one-half a t squared. Okay. So our first displacement for the first ball is going to be our 5 times 3 plus one-half our negative, don't forget those negatives in the formula, this is the whole reason you write them up here, times 3 seconds squared, okay? So this is actually going to end up giving you a negative 21. Alright, now this negative sign means the displacement vector points downwards, which means after 3 seconds it's below where it started by 21 meters. Just uh, keep track of what's going on in the problem. It goes up and comes back down in 3 seconds. You only threw it 5 meters per second, so 8 meters per second squared is bigger than that. It's not going to take too long to fall back down. Uh, the second one, D2, same exact equation used. Almost the same exact equation when you have the numbers in, except don't forget that negative right there. It's going to make all the difference in the world, otherwise you get the same answer. So negative 5 times 3 seconds plus 1 half, negative 8, 3 squared equals negative 51. So what's happening here is we have... This guy goes down 21. The other one goes down 51. 
So if you can look at that, you can just subtract 51 and 21 and say the distance between them is just going to be 30. All right. So that's exactly what they're asking for, is the distance between them after 3 seconds. This guy's 21 below where they started, this one's 51 below where they started, and you have to put 30 meters as your answer. So, that's choice one. Kinematics problems. Draw out your picture, label a frame of reference, draw out all your variables. There's two ways to keep track in your head, especially if you have two, ball, two balls and two sets of variables. And just make sure you pick the right equations and keep your, track of your negatives. Which shouldn't be bad because you shouldn't have to worry about negatives once you put them over here. So, that's the end of the problem. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.